Ada introduces DLSS 3, a new AI that generates entirely new frames rather than just pixels. DLSS 3 has four components, a new optical flow accelerator, game engine motion vectors, a convolutional autoencoder AI frame generator, and our reflex super low latency pipeline. DLSS 3 processes the new frame and the prior frame to discover how the scene is changing. The optical flow accelerator provides the neural network with the direction and velocity of pixels from frame to frame. Pairs of frames from the game, along with the geometry and pixel motion vectors, are then fed into a neural network that generates the intermediate frames. DLSS 3 generates entirely new frames without processing the graphics pipeline, boosting game performance by up to four times over brute force rendering. Because the LSS3 generates a new frame without involving the game, it benefits both GPU and CPU limited games. For CPU limited games, like physics heavy or large world games, the LSS3 allows the Ada GPU to render the game at a much higher frame rate than the CPU is able to compute the game. DLSS3 is one of our greatest neural rendering inventions. Here is Cyberpunk 2077, shown in all new max ray tracing mode with SCR and DLSS3. Pushing the state-of-the-art graphics into the future takes an incredible amount of computational horsepower. In a modern game like Cyberpunk, we run over 600 ray tracing calculations for every pixel just to determine the lighting. That's a 16 times increase from the time we first introduced real-time ray tracing four years ago. Yet the number of transistors we have available in a GPU to do these calculations have not increased at that rate. That's the power of RTX. We can deliver a 16 times increase in four years with artificial intelligence. Some pixels are calculated, most are predicted. 